Dory Phantasmagory. Author Abby Hanlon. Read aloud by Miss Jenny. A dreamlike state where real life and imagination are blurred together. Chapter One. Such a baby. My name is Dory, but everyone calls me Rascal. This is my family. I am the little kid. My sister's name is Violet. And my brother's name is Luke. Violet is the oldest. Violet and Luke never want to play with me. They say I'm a baby. Mom, Rascal is bothering us. What is she doing? Calls my mother. She's looking at us. She's breathing. All summer long, whenever I try to play with Luke and Violet, they say. Please leave us alone. Well, I am not going to leave, but I can't think of what else to say. So I ask questions, any questions I can think of. What does please mean? Why do you have armpits? How do you make plastic? Hmm. Wait, I can't wait for school to start. So we can get a break from Rascal," says Violet. "Me too," grumbles Luke. "Don't talk about school." I cover my ears. I never want summer to end. I like to stay home in my nightgown instead of getting dressed for school. It's a winter nightgown," says Violet. "And it's inside out," says Luke. "And it's backwards," says Violet. So what I say? So now that you turn six, you need to stop acting like such a baby. Why do you always call me a baby? I complain. Because you talk to yourself, says Violet, and you have temper tantrums, says Luke, and you play monsters, says Violet. Talk to myself? I have no idea what they are talking about. I never talk to myself. I talk to my friend Mary. No one can see her except me. Mary, it's lunch time. Why do we have armpits? What an interesting question. Mary always wants to play with me. She thinks I'm the greatest. At night, Mary sleeps under my bed. What is the opposite of a sandwich? I've wondered that. I've always wondered that. During the day, Mary follows me around. She wants to do whatever I'm doing. I usually don't mind, but sometimes I have to tell her no. Sorry, Mary. I'm playing with Violet. No, you aren't. Okay, Mary. What do you want to play? I ask. Here comes. Here are some things Mary likes to do. Try and steal Violet's doll, Sherry. Fake sleep. Sneak cookies from the high cabinet. Exercise club. Get dragged around the house in a laundry basket. What are you talking to a basket for? Why are you talking to a laundry basket? Faster, faster. Look for monsters. The toilet monster, the ketchup monster, the vacuum monster. Mary is my favorite, but my house is actually full of monsters. There is a toilet monster who comes into the bathroom if you sit on the toilet for too long. There is a ketchup monster who makes weird noises when you squeeze the ketchup. There is also a laundry monster, living room monster, the broken drawer monster, the broken drawer monster, the vacuum monster, 
the upstairs hallway monster, and the living room monster, and more. I tried to warn Luke and Violet when I see one. Watch out! It's behind you! Ah! There's a monster in your underwear! <laughs> Run! The vacuum monster is coming! But Luke and Violet don't appreciate it. Rascal is driving me crazy! Yeah, me too. What are we going to do with her? Let's scare her back. I'll think of something. I think of something that will get her to stop acting like such a baby. Hmm. <gasps> I've got an idea. After dinner, Violet and Luke say they have something important to tell me. I follow them upstairs, skipping steps. I'm so excited. What can it be? Violet lets me sit on her bed. Maybe she will let me play with Sherry. Very slowly, Violet asks me, Rascal, have you ever heard of someone named Miss Gobble Gracker? I shake my head no. Well, Miss Gobble Gracker is a robber and she steals baby girls, Violet says Violet. And she is 507 years old and has very sharp teeth, adds Luke. And, well, says Violet, you're going to be really surprised when I tell you this. What? I say. I'm dying to know. She's been looking for you, she says quickly. Are you serious? I ask. Dead serious, she says. Miss Gobblegracker is looking for me? I ask in amazement. Shh, says Luke. She's so scary, you have to whisper when you say her name like this. Miss Gobblegracker. So, if I were you, I would stop acting like such a baby. So she doesn't come get you, says Violet. For a moment, I am quiet. I'm quiet. This is a lot to think about. Luke and Violet stare at me as if they are waiting for me to cry. How will she get in the house? Does she come in the front door? Will she ring the doorbell? I ask them. Before they answer, I have some more questions. Is she sneaky? Will I have to battle her? Does she wear a long black cape? Is it made out of fur? Is it real fur? Or fake fur? Are her teeth rotting? Does she brush them? Does she have a really creepy looking nose? Does she have a cat? Does she live in a cave? Does she really have really long bones? We don't know! Leave us alone! They shouted, shaking their heads away fast, walking away fast. I follow Luke and Violet around the house. Oh my gosh! What have we done, says Luke, covering his ears. Is she a vegetarian? Does she vote? Is she nocturnal? Does she like ice cream? Does she like anything? Is she powerful? Does she have a cell phone? Does she eat rubber chickens? This is the worst idea we ever had, says Violet, trying to get away from me. Ever, says Luke. Ever, ever, ever. I don't want to know what happens next, says Violet. Chapter 2, next week. Thank you for listening.